clip we just watched there, that's from the reboot of German war movie All Quiet on the Western Front, airing on Netflix. It just secured the spot as the second most Oscar-nominated movie this year, and we are being joined by the executive producer and co-script writer of the film, Leslie Patterson. What an honor. Thanks so much for being here tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. Yeah, it's, uh, we are so, so proud of this film and very excited at uh, all of the hoopla around it. It's amazing. Because, Leslie, we've got to talk about, it, we would be remiss to not mention, 14 nominations at the BAFTAs. I mean, this was a film that so many thought was a lock-in and a shoe-in for the international uh, category. But what was your reaction when you kept hearing one after another uh, at, for the Oscars? You know, it was just so exciting, and especially because this project uh, took us 16 years to get off the ground. Um, it was such vindication, uh, but also a sign that this type of film with this type of message is incredibly powerful and people want to see it. Uh, yeah, we, we were blown away. It was a very nerve-wracking morning, but uh, yeah, we were on the phone to everyone immediately. It was just incredible. And talk about this adaptation, because I find it so fascinating that uh, it's, it's unique in the time that it's being remade. Why do you think it's maybe resonating with so many people specifically right now? Well, I think the way in which Edward Berger, our director, shot it, it's very, it's very immersive, it's very emotional. It's an incredibly timely message. Um, it's about the betrayal of the youthful generation, which, you know, crosses every generation at the moment. And of course, given the war in Ukraine at the moment, it's incredibly timely. So I think that's why it's resonating as much as it is. And this is based off of a book, uh, obviously one that uh, at the time was not well received in Germany when it came out. I mean, what right now is the message you are hoping people take away from this? That war is not an adventure. Uh, you know, there are no heroes. It is a true anti-war film, unlike many war films we're used to seeing. And I think because it is told from the perspective of the losers, the Germans, that's why it is so potent with that message. And being told by, as you mentioned, that perspective, giving that unique look that I think a lot of us really forget to put ourselves in that perspective and think about ourselves. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you're seeing all of these young men, the patriotic fervor, the lies that they're told in school, uh, and then the devastation of what they experience. And this, you know, went across every country, you know, the winners, the losers, and everybody in between. So uh, that's what this film shows. And it, I'm curious, can people still watch it? I mean, we know that, that besides the best picture, it's on the short list for so many others, orig original score, adapted screenplay, makeup, hairstyling, production design. I mean, the list really uh, was quite long. You just have to be so proud. Can people still watch it on Netflix? They can. So get on there, watch it, tell all your friends, especially the younger generation. We really want them to understand uh, and for it to have that kind of impact across all ages. And that's exactly uh, what it is doing. The effects already being felt. Leslie, anything else you want our viewers to hear just about the making of this movie and now just the historical recognition it's getting uh, from the awards? Well, you know, it took it took me 16 years to get this off the ground with my partner Ian Stokel, and you know, I'm I'm a professional triathlete. Uh, I'm a five-time world champion, and I've trained here in San Diego for most of my career. And I think it's that resilience and never giving up on a dream uh, of something you feel so passionate about. So I'd say to people, you know, really go for your dreams and work hard and never give up. 16 years, what a testament to your resiliency and your ability to make something like this. Such a touching and moving film. We appreciate you taking the time. Our fingers are crossed. This is clearly already making such a huge impact as it is, but how fun would it be to see it take home those big recognitions? Leslie, Absolutely. we appreciate your time. Thank you again for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. Cheers, Hunter. We'll be watching. Thanks.